Hello again. Today I'm gonna be playing some Wolf 3D mode. Adolph's House, game made by Poet. We start the game with the credits. Um, I'm not gonna read the name. I'm afraid to screw up the pronunciation. So my apology. Uh, some more credits. Okay, the next thing we have the controls. My camera is covering the bit of the screen of the text, but that's okay. Most of the controls are like in most Wolf 3D mods, little exceptions. For example, you can't change the controls, which is a little bit down, but oh well, you can live with it. The thing is that the shift is used to go the elevator up. Uh, I kind of assume that it's space. Uh, which you use the to go the elevator down, but it's not like that, and that kind of fucked me up. I got stuck because of that, and yeah, I had to start the game again. So just read the game manuals; it's saving some time. Here we have some more explanations. Um, I think I'm gonna mention them later. That's okay. And special notes for episode one, which I'm playing at the moment. I also should mention them. Um, wanna check the story? Let's check the story, it's just three frames. Um, I'm not gonna read them, they're changing maybe a bit faster and I'm not sure I would read them fast enough. The story is kinda simple. Basically, we go to the house where some weird shit is going on and we are supposed to save the girl. At least for this episode. The game has, if I remember right, 18 episodes. Hopefully I'm gonna play through some more of them. I'm starting with this one because obviously it's the first episode and I, I guess it's a good way to start. It shows essentially the spirit of the game and I think it's the most known one because it started as a free mode for Wolf 3D and most people should heard about it. Some music would have been nice. But that's okay. It's just I can talk all the time. I'm not a talkative person. Okay, I'm gonna leave your seconds in case you wanna stop to read the full story. And let's start. I'm gonna start the game on the easy difficulty because um, I don't wanna replay it too much. The part of the game is half an hour, but I'm gonna be lost and so on, so that's also one of the reasons why I'm doing the easy difficulty. Another reason is that the ghost enemies don't hurt you on the easy difficulty, they're just annoying you. So just making some things a little bit easier for myself. Okay, um, here we have the revolver. I'm probably gonna fuck it up, but let's try. Okay. Um, what happens here is that revolver um, ammunition doesn't like the water, which kind of makes sense. If the old powder ammunition gets wet, it's not going to work anymore. Although here it doesn't really make so much sense because you just step on the water and your ammunition gets spoiled, but it's game logic. Let's not think about it too much. For sure it's a creative idea. Okay, next thing we learn in the game is those two cups. I could take the pink cup and die, or I can just take this one, show you the elevator, and you believe me that if I take the pink one, you die. So what you need to do is open the secret passage, take the cross, and with the cross item, you're okay to take the pink cups. Now we are going down the elevator using the space, which you open the door. Um, this cup is the health. Now we're gonna have the elevator to go up. Um, okay, I played the game several times for before recording, but of course I can't memorize it so well. I just have terrible 3D memory. Of course, I started with a shooting enemy. And... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna explain what happened in a moment. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I survived. This was a bit retarded and chaotic. Oh, I don't want to make it look like the book in it. Uh, what just happened? Mm. That weapon that I got as first is a ricocheting weapon I'm gonna save before I kill myself. And it's gonna pain an ass. I mean, it's the great idea of the game. It needs. It makes you think before you shoot. If you shoot the wall, it's gonna ricochet back on you. But it can be so annoying if you miss the enemy and so on. I most of the time I died in this game was because I shot myself. I'm gonna come back here in a moment. Um, I wish I had bit better memory of places it would have made playing games so much easier. Okay, as you see we have a pink cup there, so we need a <coughs> special item again. So we're not even gonna get close to it. Well, I like this mode is can break stuff, at least the mirrors. It's always fun to do. And this is something that's kind of impressive. Um, let me find the strip button. If you see, the objects in the room have directional sprites. That's something that you don't really see often in Wolf 3D mods. It's really impressive that the artist bothered to do it. And it gives a nice impression. Okay, now with this item we can pick up that cup. Ah, let's do it now. And some ammo. Um, okay, weapons we change with enter and the weapons are shifting all the time so only enter is used to pick to change the weapons which is also a bit unusual. Well, that's okay. Okay, this is actually the enemy and to activate it we need to shoot it. Okay, I was worried that for a moment it doesn't do anything, but it's okay. And now we're getting the X. Uh, I played this game through, even a few times, but I still don't remember totally where the hidden doors and so on, so my apology, but I'm gonna be lost quite a while. Mm, was there anything else in here? Some health would be nice. I can't resist. I just break the mirror. If you're playing this game, um, I get some health. If you're playing this game for the first time, I advise you to save regularly, because this is not a typical War 3D mode. It actually is. Some sort of even puzzle game, game I would call it. And if you fuck up, you're actually not gonna finish it. There are a few places where you can fuck up. I'm gonna try to mention it. Probably that's not all the places I found, but yeah, just keep saving in different slots. By the way, I love the sound of the re revolver. Listen to it. Can you hear it? There it was. Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. I don't know why I just like that sound. It doesn't sound like revolver at all, but it just feels dolls. 
That makes sense. Um, there's no music in the game, as you probably noticed. And there's lots of sounds of opening and closing doors. Maybe I should slow down a little bit. Um, okay, we need to find... Ah, oh, hi. This is the enemy I mentioned before, the reason why I'm playing on easy. On easy, it doesn't hurt you. It's just annoying because it's blocking your way, like now. I'm actually not sure where it came from, but that's fine. And um, if I'm not mistaken, the other weapons don't work on it. Only the X Poof, gun. And this is a little problem I have with the game, that some stuff is not too much intuition. You need to actually learn it to, to know it. So lots of trying and dying in this game, if you play it for the first time. So this game is not too much for the casual players, that's for sure not. And that should be such mega health. This should be ammo. And we have the item again to pick up the pink cup. So far so good. Elevator. Let's pick up some other weapon. Oh, I don't have the revolver ammo. That's okay. You can see the ricochet now. I'm gonna stay with the revolver, it's the safest, you can't shoot yourself with it. Okay, again we pick up the item, and the pink cup was here. Oh, the also good thing about the ricochet weapon is that enemies quite often are killing themselves. So if you see an enemy, you can just oh, right now, hide behind the corner and they just gonna kill rid of themselves. <laughs> brilliant weapon. <laughs> really random, but brilliant. Um, oops, wrong key. And there goes my ammo. Okay, elevator, close the door. We need to find four keys or five. Ah, oh, that sounds like he killed himself. Yep. That was a rocket weapon. So, yeah, he killed himself. Um, okay, actually here I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I forgot. Uh, the thing is that if you see, here we have two pink cups in the row, so it's better to not go there yet. I'm gonna wait a moment. The thing is that um, if you need two those items to go through, you better look for the place where they have those items, like two of them, or three pink cups, you need three of those items. If you use those items in the wrong place, you're gonna get yourself stuck. Ah, so I did good. So as you see, if I need to come here, if I would have used this item in this place that you just saw, where are two cups, I would lose the item, and there would be still one cup left. I would get myself stuck, and I couldn't proceed with the game. That's why I'm gonna save now, cause it should be fine. And this is the reason why you should really save a lot in this game on the different slots. Um. If you don't know the game, at the beginning you might be quite confused and quite fuck up some stuff. I don't like this part, it's gonna be a couple of enemies coming onto me. I don't want this weapon. No. Okay. What's on? 
So I'm still looking at that. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, I think that was one of the more annoying parts of the game with lots of enemies. No? There is still something alive. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm just gonna save. Okay, here we have only some ammo. Let's get some health. So far, so good. Um, that, if you notice by now, looks like the ammo for the revolver, but this particular one not, is not. Um, if I would pick it up, I would probably die. I'm not sure how much health it takes, if all or most of it. Um, you can see the color on it. This one is pink. This one is not good. It's a trap. I picked up the ammo here. Oh no, there it is. If there is no color, like on this one, it's normal revolver ammo. That's safe to collect. But that one is a nasty, nasty trap. This game is quite mean. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Let's just load fast. I know that some of the areas of the levels are triggering I need help. Are triggering enemies in some other parts. That's why you not necessarily notice uh, when enemy is coming on you, which is okay. But I just simply don't have memory to rec to memorize all this stuff. Ah, uh, fuck it, I will just save to make sure. Ah, trap. Never mind. Uh, one more thing about this game is that you should check all the walls. Really, keep checking the walls for the secrets. Uh, lots of secrets are necessary to go through the game. Mm. Shoot me? No, it's okay. That's, I think, is the rocket ammo, but I'm not gonna be using rocket too much. I'm usually hurting myself with rockets. Okay, if I remember correctly. Ah, hear the sound? Bit suspicious. Means that we found a hidden wall, but it's from the wrong side. So if we go here, it's gonna get open. I'm gonna come back here in a moment. Let me check here first. Oh, health. Uh, I'm gonna leave it for now. Okay, now very important part. What do I use that item for? Oh, I forgot. Never mind. Anyways, uh, important part. I would really advise you to save before doing anything further. And I'm actually not sure if that's the way it was made to be but that's the only way I figured out how to go on with the game um, so we learned that this enemy is only triggered when you shoot it so what I'm doing is I'm gonna shoot it and then I'm running onto this door and wait for that enemy to I know what that item was for Good that I saved. I totally forgot there's a pink cup there. 
So one more time. First I need to take this and then I'm triggering this enemy and I'm running to the door. The reason for that is um, we need to get there for the key. Let's wait here. And the enemy can open this door for us like this. Great. Let me try to survive and I'm gonna explain more in a moment. Shit. Okay, I fucked it up. Um, one more time. Uh, first the item. Stay here. He's gonna come. Sometimes it takes him fast, sometimes slow, but he's coming. Just wait. And the important part is you need to kill him on the spot. Oh, he's coming. Where this door is. That's where you're coming from. Uh, just one more time. <laughs> I swear this is the most par annoying part of this episode. After it's getting a bit easier. Because <laughs> if I don't kill the enemy on this spot, there is no green key behind this door and uh, you can get yourself stuck inside. So it's very important that at least one enemy gets killed on this door and keeps the door open. Oh, perfect, he killed himself. There should be some the enemy coming. Ah, oh, they're coming. Still the pirate? Okay, good, good, good. Should be all. Okay, let's save, but on different spot just to make sure. Okay, this was the part that usually takes the most to do it perfectly, because if enemy don't die just on that spot, you can block yourself in here. As I said, I'm not sure if that's the intended way to do it. That's the way I figured it out, and I'm gonna stick to it. What's in there? One more? Oh, I just took the item. As you saw, there are two items here, so we're gonna be looking for a place where the two pink cups are. I know I just saved, I just like to be sure. That's the trap, we don't wanna go there. The question now, where were two cups? Here we need three. So this is probably the part where I'm gonna cut the video to make it shorter because I'm sure I'm gonna be lost now. One more straw though. Ah, closed directly. There was the orange star. I think it's somewhere here. No. This might take a while. Oh, there. Two cups. So this is probably where we want to go. One. 
and this is also the part I don't like too much about this game is can I go here? Do I go back? Oh, whatever. Um, I need to go all the way back to pick up the second cross. And I hate the elevators in here because I am so fucking lost with them. Yeah, I was here. Good. Um, here are the traps. So we go here. And I need second one. So if you have a place where you have three of those crosses and you need to open three of the traps, you need to go three times all around. And for someone like me that never remembers the way and so on, this is hell. I just went in a circle, didn't I? As I said, this is hell for me. Please don't do that. Uh, I should just cut it out, but this is humiliating. Yeah, I found a way. Okay, got it. And we found key. Which is good. Okay, some help. And we get the white key. No secrets. I think not. Okay, let's go back. Uh, white door, white door. Where did we see white door? Here we saw white door. Sure. Uh, sometimes when I change the weapons with the enter key, it happened again, it jumps two weapons instead of one. I'm not sure why this is happening. And it's not nice if you want to change the weapons really fast. There was some secrets here, I think. Maybe was the other side. And always, as you can see here, we have three crosses now. So we're gonna be looking for the place with three cups. I already stumbled upon it. So now we take one. We can take the others. And we get the green key. Nah, I don't need that stuff. There was no more secrets here, huh? Just to make sure. Okay. And we take it to the place where the three pink capsule. Which I have no idea at the moment where it was. Did we open this door now? I didn't expect that now. I have no idea where he came from. I just walk in so far. Okay. As you can see, three cups. So this is where we wanna go. This will also take a while now. Oh, 
I'm not sure why this elevator it works if you don't press anything, if you just go walk through, then it teleports you, don't have to press anything here. It's the only ele um, elevator like that in this game, I'm not sure why. There, blink, I didn't press anything. Lots of walking in this game. And the last one. And the third one. So we unlock the next way. Okay, good. Maybe we're half the way through. We still need two more keys. We are going to the next floor now. Uh, first, let's check here. Mega health I don't need yet. There should be some hidden stuff in here. And we need two crosses to get the orange key. Now, okay, let's try to remember this place. Even that I am so sure I'm gonna forget it. Mm, nope. Here. In this room we have enemies and uh, exploding barrels. You can go in from two directions. First one is just like this. Ah, uh, that was bad. They can shoot the barrels, you have to do it yourself. Ah, uh, that didn't work out. Well, at least I can show the other approach to that room. Um, Maybe I'll just take this just in case. Um, so second approach, I'm actually not sure which one is easier. They're both kind of same. I'm just gonna save just in case. Is going for here. Oh. Oh. Let me get rid of the ghost. Sure. And uh, let me get some ammo. As you can see, the pink one is the trap again, but we can get the orange one. That one is full ammo. Just don't go for the pink one. Last time I played through, I managed to make actually those enemies. Oh no. Um, Otherwise, if you shoot the barrels from the other side, there's a chance this enemy gets killed through the wall. Now we are in that room again, and we can just shoot this and kill them. But that thing blocks the door then. Mm. I think that yellow slime hurts. And we get uh, one cross now. I'm gonna take it, but we are not done here yet. Oh, ammo, okay. Um, how do we get that mega health? I am not sure at the moment. Maybe we get there, maybe not, not, not necessarily. Orange door, we know where the orange key is, but we can't go there yet. Next step would be coming here. And if you remember from the beginning, if I step on it, I'm losing my revolver ammo. Now, here we have the mirror. We can walk through it, but we have to break it. And behind it is ta da! Hidden door. Behind the hidden door is another hidden door. And we get the yellow key. 
almost having all the keys. Um, there's one more hidden door in there. I'm just not entirely sure what was behind it. So I'm gonna save really fast. I'm gonna lose the ammo. That enemy, by the way, he has a weapon and a knife, and this one is dropping the um, trap ammo, so don't go there. And let's see what was in here. That's mega health, okay. I don't need that for yet. So we got here one item for the pink cup, and yellow door key. So we're gonna go up now for the yellow door. And here I'm using actually shift to go up. That's the place I mentioned before I got stuck. There was orange door so not yet. Where was yellow door? I have no idea. I need to check all. I really have no idea. Oh, here is the end of the level. If you get close to that without the item you need, it's gonna kill you. I have no idea what that creature is, but I love the design of it. It just looks awesome. Pink elephant. Nothing here. It could be also that it wasn't some secret that I didn't find or I forgot to find. There's actually a good chance for that. Okay, what do we have here? Orange star. I think there was some enemy. Ah, I know. Ah, oh, okay, I think this is where we're supposed to use the cup because it's only one and we only found one item in the basement. It was basement or, or virtual, um, whatever. And yes, this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, this is awesome. And uh, the room was brilliant. As you see, hiding enemy behind a mirror that you can break. I... First time I played it, I was really surprised why the mirror is shooting me, and that was just a brilliant idea. Here's the girl that we need to save. To save her, we need the last orange key, which I'm working at the moment to get. And here we have two items to cross us to get that orange key. And if I only could remember where the that was, I would have been happy. But I don't. One thing that would be awesome for this game, a map. Like in Metroid. I would never beat Super Metroid if there wasn't a map in it. And this is something that this needs, a map. It would make my life so much more easier. Uh, 
a really big suggest suggestion a map was it down there? yeah it was down there all right Where the orange door was, that's wrong with direction now. Oh. Yep, I am lost. This floor. Uh, where did you come from? It's orange there. This is not the place, but it looks like it wasn't here before. Yay. There was also a orange door. That's as far as I remember. Holy shit, where was the place? And I still need to bring the one more cross. This is gonna be disaster. I absolutely forgot now where it was. Circles. I just can't remember. <sighs> okay, I think it's high for this floor. Dear fucking lord. And here, nah. <sighs> okay, focus. here wasn't it yes I think I don't remember where the second cross was. It was of the girl. The girl. And uh, the girl was... 
Holy shit, I don't remember where the girl was. This is disaster. The girl was here, please be here. No, oh, was a different secret. Holy fuck, I am a fucking retard. This is why I will never get a part time. I am running in circles like a fucking lost hamster. That's the trap. Was she on the different floor? The elephant. Here, okay. Sorry, I'm so slow. I'm still coming to save you, I swear. Going to the green door here <sighs> next to each other, and I'm going for all the fucking map because I can't remember the goddamn fucking way. I know I'm gonna be lost, but I didn't expect it to be so bad. I have really awful memory for such places. Orange key. Okay, now we have all that's needed to finish the game. <sighs> okay, the orange key. What can I do with the orange key? With the orange key we can go back now to the boss. Okay. Um, hopefully I have enough ammo and enough help. Ah, whatever. There's a couple of more doors, orange ones that you can open all around, but back here. Not sure what was in there. stuff inside, treasures, secrets and so on, but I am sure I have all I need to finish the game. So after having all the keys, we are going back to the beginning. At least I should remember that. Okay, great. Gonna open this door, and behind it is um, final boss. Um, my advice for the final boss is uh, awesome sound. I know. It's kind of loud. If Shooting also those annoying, um, well, annoying. Okay, they can be annoying, depends how they work. Um, the ricochet weapons, and there's good chance if you run around in circles long enough, you're gonna kill himself. Uh. 
saving uh, you need certain amount of health to pick up the key he dropped I am not sure at the moment what's the amount that you need and I don't want to risk killing myself on the last moment so I'm just gonna go back and pick up some health um, I lost some left some mecha health around And this is really the last challenge. Picking up that key to the right. Okay, I should be good to pick up the last key now, and then we're gonna head to the exit. Should have drawn a map for myself before I started to play this thing. That would made it easier. Okay. Mm. And got the big key. Took 60 health points. Quite some. But now we have the key to save the girl. I'm gonna save for the last time just to make sure I don't fuck it up. Just need to find the right way now. <laughs> Nothing simpler than that. Could be there are some more enemies released around, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And then we pick her up. We get such hot item. And with that, for some reason, I'm not sure how to explain it, we can go to the pink creepy elephant. And he's not gonna kill us, but instead, Ooh. he disappears. And we can finish the episode one. It's really way more fun if you play around without being lost, but I tried my best. The game is really fun. I can recommend it. If you want to get it, I'm going to put some link in the description. And I recommend it. It's something new. It's something not typical of 3D mode. And for sure it's worth testing. So I hope you still enjoyed. And see ya.